Welcome back everyone and thank you for uh, choosing the IPv6 course. Yes, finally, IPv6. We're going to learn a whole bunch of things in IPv6. But before we dive into IPv6, we still need to have a good understanding of IPv4. So the first section is going to be divided into three different lectures, very quick lectures. We're not going to get too, too deep into it. We're going to go fairly quickly through all the lectures just to, I guess, jog your memory if you haven't done it in a long time, all right? Uh, first lecture, which is going to be this one, uh, how is the address formatted? We're going to go ahead and discuss the, uh, how the IPv4 address looks like, uh, the classes of addresses, and then a little review on subnetting. The method that we use for subnetting, is to give you a heads up on lecture three, is the same method we're going to use for subnetting in IPv6 once we get there, once we get there. So it's going to be a lengthy course. It's going to be a detailed course. We're going to have fun with it. All right, but we are going to take our time. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. Let me go ahead and get um, a new notepad now that you know what we're going to cover. And this, you know, we're just going to look first at the IPv4 address. Okay, now the IPv4 address we know, and let's get my uh, drawing tools out here. I had them out here where they disappear to. Okay, let me bring them back out. All right, the IPv4 address, and we'll use black. All right. We know it's separated into four octets, all right? And the octets, of course, are using it, the, they're, they're separated to four octets, separated by a decimal. Wow, that's a bad decimal number there, or the way it looks. Okay. All right, let's write decimal ninth. Let's write it on the bottom. Okay. <clears throat> Separated by a decimal. All right, so we got four octets, right, meaning eight bits, right, in each octet. So you got eight times four. We have a what? A 32 bit address. So an IP version four address pretty much is a Thirty or no, it is not pretty much. It is a thirty-two bit address. Okay, and we see it just like this. Oop, one too many decimals. Okay, that's how your IPv4. And then of course, whatever number is that you're using, ten, one two, three, whatever IP address you have on there. Okay, and we'll talk about classes in a second. So essentially, that is the IPv4 address, 32-bit address. It can hold up to 4.3 billion addresses. Okay, that, that is a decimal right there. 4.3 billion addresses, which by the end of, or in the next 12 months or so, that's it, we're done. No more IPv4 addresses to be handed out, okay? So that's why we moved into IPv6, one of the reasons that we moved into IPv6, because of the size of the address. But with IPv4, this we got to play with, okay? And we've been using IPv4 for the longest, and IPv6 has been in play for a while, but it hasn't really catched on as quick because of the complexity of it, all right? And not everybody wanted to just move forward to it, because they look kind of crazy to begin with. All right, so this is the, uh, the format of your uh, IPv4 address. It's a 32-bit address, seven to four octets with eight bits in each octet. Obviously, when I say eight bits in each octet, I'll break it down even further so you can actually see it. Hopefully, I won't run out of room. You know how I am. I write big. So one, okay, let's start here, one, two, all right then, let's uh, try this again. Now he doesn't like two hands on the board. So we go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 
And then I'm going to come just down here on this side. That'll be the last octet to give myself room. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay? Now, this here is your first octet. Okay? This is your first octet. This is your second octet. This one right here is your third octet. And this one down here, which is your last one, obviously will go straight, okay, is your fourth octet. So that's how it will look if you look at the actual binary. First octet, second octet, third octet, fourth octet. That's important to know. I see people are getting confused to which is the first, second, third, and fourth octet. Your first octet is always the one to the left, okay? Now, one thing that you'll need to remember always, because this is another something that causes confusion, are bit values, all right? Your bit values, and I'm going to put them up here. Uh, 128, 64, 32, 16, 8, 4, 2, and 1. These bit values right here, they're the same in each octet, no matter first, second, third, or fourth. Those are bit values. Turning on and off those bit values is how we come up with our IP addresses or summit mass, right? That's how we come up with our numbers. The computer doesn't see uh, the actual decimal. They see the binary uh, format of it. But this is what you're going to need to memorize, those bit values, because it's going to help you quite a bit when it comes to the subnetting portion of it, okay? But remember, bit values on top, and they're identical on each one. If you were to add up, okay, if you were to add up all these bit values, and let me change the color here, the maximum, the maximum, the maximum value of any octet will be 255, okay? So if somebody were to give you an address, and we'll put, we'll, I'll do it here. They say they give you 192.258.100.1. 258, right? It's not a valid address. They'll try to mess around. I doubt that they'll give you this in the CCNA exam or a Network Plus exam. Well, maybe a Network Plus exam. But usually in school is where the professors, teachers, instructors, they like to... Uh, to see if you know that the maximum value of any given octet is 255 and they'll use something like that or the administrator is using a particular address and it's not working well he'll give you something like this obviously he's putting an invalid address even though we know for a fact in the real world okay if we put in an invalid address the PC is going to scream at us the switch is going to scream at us the router is going to scream at us. It will not allow you to put an invalid address. Again, this is just testing, uh, gauging your knowledge and understanding, all right? Because I wouldn't want you to go out there in the real world and say, well, the IP address should be at 256. Then people are just going to look at you weird, okay? So know that 255 is the maximum value of any one of these given octets, and these bit values that you see on top here are the same per octet. It does not change. It does not change. All right. So this is how the address is formatted. Now you know the bit values. They're the same on every octet. And the maximum value of the address is 255. So we're going to end right now. Like I said, this is going to be a quick review of IPv4 in each little lecture. Very small lectures, nothing big, just to jog your memory. So let's go ahead and go to the next lecture. I'll see you there.